No one going to take you into the Riga research factory. How are tone arms, pickups and turntables made? And not least, how is the quality controlled? Testing. For 50 years, Riga has made turntables in its own way. While others make heavier turntables, Riga believes that lighter turntables are the best. The most expensive is the lightest. I mean, I can hold it with my little finger without any problem. <laughs> <laughs> we don't see the turntable as a magic hi-fi item. We see it as a measuring instrument. So now we're going into the factory. We are at the Riga factory to see how these turntables are made. Both the P1 and the P3 and the more high-end stuff from this factory. It's here the high-end turntables are made. So basically at this moment is the fourth stage that we have um, on building. After that, we put the motor in this motor hole. We fit it in perfectly, so after that we secure it. And that's the stage done. Electrical testing. It's amazing how much they test the toner before it go out of the factory. They are testing and testing and testing. While they are slowly tying the nut to 82, we then take the arm out, give it a little spin just to see if it's not too tight. We want to make sure that the performance of the arms come out the very best as possible as we can make it and that every customer is happy with what they receive. Or they can uh, call you and say, what the heck is happening to my tone arm? <laughs> yeah. Behind me, they are making the coils of the moving coil pickup of Riga. There are two types of cartridges, moving magnet, moving coil. The moving coil is potentially much more accurate, but much more difficult to make, as you can see here. The sizes of the coils are minuscule, and it's something very, very few people can physically do. So I would say about one in a hundred people can do this operation. It's quite difficult and it's time consuming. How important is it to be very accurate here? Um, you can't stress how important it is because everything's so small. The tiniest inaccuracy means a change in output from one channel to another or cost all. So here you designed the turntables? Yeah. So what do we see here? Um, it, it's a 3D representation of the Planner 1. So why is it important to have it in 3D? It's not important, but it's a modern day tool that's hugely helpful to us as designers. We can sit and look at this, for instance, as a product. It can be moved and rotated. We can look at shapes. What are you looking for? The sort of thing we might be looking at on this is it's being made to a minimum possible cost. Um, and in order to do that, we have to make compromises. In the future, how could we make those compromises less of a compromise? How could we get nearer to a better measuring machine? So what kind of improvements do you see at the Planner One? The ultimate improvement is it could sound as good as a Planner 2 or a Planner 3. This is the Plant Planner 1 turntable department. So here it's uh, very, very high production. Yeah, much faster production. Um, nothing is selected. Everything is pre-selected and pre-toleranced by the design. And everything goes together on jigs and fixtures. Um, it's a much quicker process. The typical quantity of Planner 10s would be maybe 100 a month. 
typical quantity here, we could make up to 4,000 a month in this department. Here is the Riga P3 produced. It's many turntables going out of the factory every day. The, the braces, that's one of the very important parts of the turntable because the relationship between the arm and the main bearing is crucial. It needs to be as stiff as possible. It's like adding a beam into a building. And in here we have something that is normally only used by space companies, Formula One companies. <laughs> Quality control is very important for Riga. So therefore, they have bought this machine, costing £100,000. Wow, impressive. But what does it do? It's a coordinate measuring machine, so CMM. So it's a quality control machine? Yes, and because of the accuracy of the machine, it goes down to a micron, really, one to two microns, um, which is incredibly low. Um, we, we can find faults with almost everything. Um, even down to, if, if this hole is not completely uh, uh, circular, it, it will find that on this. There's, there's nowhere to hide with these. What are this machine making? It can make almost any type of cable. It can solder, strip, cut to length, and also crimp terminals onto the end. This machine um, is exclusively for coaxial cables that are used on the tone arms. This is a large place. What do we have here? We keep a stock holding of parts of roughly half a year's turnover in value, which um, every year for 50 years, our accountants have scratched their heads and said, this is madness. So it's a small amount of profit each year goes into um, increasing our stock holding. And particularly during lockdown, when almost every company in the hi-fi world wasn't able to produce, we carried on producing. So this was the report from Riga Factory. Hope you like what you see and press that like button. And subscribe to our channel.